So guys, Xiaomi's SU7 is actually having minimal impact on Neo's deliveries. We all thought that perhaps this would hurt 85 and 85T sales, but the opposite is actually happening. The sales for 85 and 85T have not been affected. And in fact, for the previous last two weeks of March, we actually saw increase in deliveries for both those vehicles. Uh, for the ES6, we got up to 1,100 vehicles per week. And for the 85 plus 85T, we got up to 1,400 vehicles per week. Actually up uh, week over week. But also very interestingly, the uh, the SU7, they've compared it to the Model 3, and the Model 3 actually saw a week-over-week -week drop. So the Model 3 dropped from 3,186 down to 2,869. So this was for the uh, third and fourth week of March. Interestingly enough, Xpeng's deliveries also weren't as affected. So what we're seeing right now is Xiaomi's deliveries seem more to be getting customers from people that aren't really uh, you know, interested in cars, namely Xiaomi fans. So these guys, uh, and, and to be honest, people in the industry, people that know and understand about cars, aren't exactly too impressed with the Xiaomi SU7, right? spec-wise. It's just not a fantastic car spec wise and you know it's their first car they've made it in under three years there's bound to be imperfections so yeah it seems to, to be like most of the customers are coming from uh xiaomi fans and neo's in deliveries are not impacted at all however there is this one car coming out very soon which may impact neo's deliveries and i believe uh this might impact neo's deliveries and just to make it clear if you think about Xiaomi's brand and, and Neo's brand, they're on two completely different calibers. So like nine out of 10 people would say Neo's brand is much more premium, much more luxurious than a Xiaomi. So people buying a Neo, Neo's customer base aren't really going to be looking at Xiaomi's car, all right? It's just brand isn't there. It doesn't match their uh, family status if I made that clear enough. But this other car from this uh, other brand, that could impact Neo's ET5 and ET5T deliveries. And that is namely IM's L6, which is coming out very, very soon. And it's going to have solid state battery. It's gonna be the first one to enter the market with solid state battery, pure solid state battery, okay? It's not like Neo's hybrid solid state battery. Neo's battery is half solid state and half uh, lithium ion so you know it's something to be keep your eye open about yeah also 900 volt architecture rear wheel steering has crab walking feature and also it has a uh, dual chamber air suspension as well a very good package in a very cheap sedan all right it's going to be probably around the same pricing as the SU7, but you can arguably say that IM's brand luxuriousness is higher than Xiaomi's brand luxuriousness. But I would definitely say it's below Neo, right? They're trying to be around Neo's brand luxuriousness, but I would say they're below Neo. But this is definitely uh, sort of closer to Apple's to Apple's comparison. And uh, there's recently a video they shared. They did a moose test and that car got 71 kilometers per hour maximum moose test score. But what's really impressive is that this was done without someone in the driver's seat. It was done autonomously. There was nobody driving. It was just a car driving itself. So, you know, with a driver, who knows what score is actually achievable. We know that Neo's ES6 actually got one of the highest scores uh, for the moose test that the car Dong Chou Di has ever tested. So, you know, in terms of performance wise, Neo is very, very nice. But this car, do not sleep on it. You know, also two second, zero to 100, 900 volt architecture, solid state battery with over a thousand kilometers of range. So, you know, they have all the right stuff and 
they might come out with a blockbuster price, they're definitely going to undercut Xiaomi's SU7. Uh, people that have tested the car and seen the car here in China have said that this car, yeah, if you're considering the SU7, hold on to your horses because this car is way, way, way better. So in my personal opinion, that is something to be careful about, okay? Now, namely, I, I want to make it very clear that Neo's vehicles are a lot more resistant to competitors, all right? Uh, Neo's deliveries are a lot more resistant co to competitors. Competitors come out with a great car, Neo is still going to deliver fairly decent numbers. Whereas for some of the other guys, like, you know, even IMs, uh, LS6, um, Exponents G6, they launch it, they got good deliveries at the start, but then it just fades away. Why? Well, because they're undercut by other guys, com competition-wise. There's other guys coming in with better specs, all that kind of great stuff, and they're just undercut, and then they lose deliveries. Neil is a lot more resistant to uh, these competitors because of the fact that people buy a Neil for the battery swap. It's pretty, uh, you know, it's a pretty no-brainer. Like, regardless of what kind of crazy specs that some of the other cars have, you know, and you might be swayed to buy those other cars, but when it comes down to ultimate usability and convenience factor, people still buy a Neil for the battery swap. So it just, you know, Neil's deliveries are a lot more resistant than people know about. To be honest, uh, the IMLS L6 sedan coming out very soon, April 8th, might dent ET5 and ET5T deliveries. And just to be clear, they also have the bass policy adjustment and deliveries are actually uh, going to increase because of uh, people are ordering the car like crazy uh, with these new policies. It's just so, so much incentive. People are buying the car. So, but there might be a small dent, but it's going to be a temporary dent. All right. And the car L L L6 is going to shock some people and be like, wow, this car is great. But then after a while, it's going to fade down like everybody else. Whereas Neo's, Neo's basically remains consistent, doesn't really fade down. They're a lot more resistant to the competitors because people choose Neo for the battery swap. You know, if you look at it just spec wise, if you ignore battery swap, a lot of these cars are on paper much better than a Neo, uh, apart from service and quality. Uh, but, you know, of course, battery swap is the ultimate factor that customers consider when buying a Neo. And the convenience of it is just huge. All right. Uh, look, if you look at some of the other cars, they have better acceleration. They have, like, maybe some of them have a dual chamber air suspension, whereas the ET5 and ET5T only have spring suspensions uh, with CDC, of course. And they don't, uh, Neo's ET5 and ET5T don't have a heads up display. Whereas if you look at Zeker uh, and Xiaomi SU7, even an IM uh, L6, these guys will all have heads up display. So they have a lot of things that customers want, but Neo isn't really offering them because, you know, ET5 and ET5T are uh, Neo's most entry level car. And they sort of don't want to have that many good features on the most entry level car. So, you know, it is, it's a difference right there. All right. But it's still a Neo. They're still battery swap. So even though some people complain, people still choose a Neo for the battery swap. And of course, this is all to leave room for the sub brand Envo with their car coming out with all the features that cus customers want. And they're able to make a car that's much better in terms of specs than ET5 and ET5T and maybe even the ES6, all right, spec wise. So maybe like uh, they might have air suspension, it might have a uh, single motor, heads up display, you know, big horizontal screens, comfortable seat and fridge even, you know, all this stuff that if you were to put it on the new main brand, it would have to be a way, way, way more expensive car. But of course, with the sub brand, uh, you're not getting as much luxuriousness. You're not getting new service. And of course, warranties and all that kind of stuff will be different as well. So there's that to know about as well. So guys, remember at the end of the day, new sales are not impacted as much by uh, Xiaomi SU7. And also the IM L6 is going to dent it, but over time, it's not going to really affect Neo that much. All right.
Neil is resistant to competitors. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Peace out.